And we have Brazil in lane number one, right of your picture. Renata Bazone Tashira with a personal best of 459.93. We have Ruzanne Kutsi from South Africa. The 23 year old. And there's Zhengjin from China. And have it, they had an excellent Paralympic Games program on the track. Part of the relay team that won the 4x100 metres and also the world champion here. Fucking 47-71 in the final in Doha. And there is Wazone Tashira, 42 years of age, only contesting the 1500 metres. She's the world champion in the 800 and the reigning bronze medalist in this event in world championships. So we've got the winner of the worlds and the bronze medalist here in this heat. So a field of five to go, which means we have ten out there on the track and already blazing off to a quick start is Aluma from Turkey with on the outside not far away is Zheng. A little bit of crowding in the early stages, but nothing too dramatic. And at this stage, Tashira relaxing, tucked away on the inside and curtsy around her. So as they come around the turn on the first occasion, Lumar is the leader from Zheng from China in second place. Koesh on the inside. We've already seen a Kenyan gold medal in this session. Kutsi covering extra ground, trying to stay out of trouble on the outside, but she's about to surge up. And last, the inside is Bazone Tashira, and they've got three laps to go. Yeah, somewhat sedate pace, 55 seconds for the first 300 metres. Uh, Sheng Chin, a really interesting case. She's the world 1500 metres champion. She's won the last two. Asian Games, world record holders, broke the world record in 2010 and then did it again. Uh, gold in the 4x1, but she's also entered in the marathon. And you just saw wheelchair racers did that. Osna Alamore, uh, married recently, also racing under the name of Osna Yilmaz. Three gold medals in the Europeans in Swansea in 2014 when she was uh, an out and out sprinter in the 1, the 2, and the 4. Gold in the 15 and bronze in the 4 is. Uh, that was in this year's Europeans as Sheng makes her way on the inside, Sheng Jin. Bronze in the 800 also, as well as that 1500 metres gold in Doha at the World Championships. Lots of great support for the 800 metres World Champion. Expect a lot from Renata Bazzoni Tejera here, who's from Sela. Bronze in the 15 in Doha went on to do well there after silver in the 1500 metres in the Pan Ams in Toronto. And that's the one two at the moment, as you might well expect. Two of our medalists from the World Championships taking the top two positions. A little bit of a gap back down into third then as we hit two laps to go. So leaving the straight, it is out in front, Zheng from Koesh, and they're steadily getting away from the others. It's Kutsi in third position, and now a little bit of a race developing at the back of the field between Tashira and also the initial leader in Aluma. Now that lap was 118.38. So Zheng looking pretty comfortable here, being paced out by the guide, thinking about a little bit of a maneuver here, Koesh down the back straight. And slowly, Kurtzi is just picking up a little And slowly, Kurtzi is just picking up a little bit of ground, but won't threaten the first two. As they come off the back section with just over a lap to go. Zheng just trying to break Koesh here and it looks as though she may have. Zheng coming around, Koesh having to really surge just to stay in touch around that turn. But you can see how carefully the guide is helping her pace this out. So Zheng leads Koesh as they halt up front, is getting a little bit closer and just keeps Zheng where she wants her to be with the first two going through so there really isn't much of a rush for them they could just go around in this order if they really wanted to and then it's a gap to curtsy who has to put in now for South Africa in third place just to make sure that she gets a decent time with a lap to go 
As Sheng and Coet, the 1-2, and it's the top two who go through, so they can trot around from here if they wish. Kurtzi in third place. Coet, who finished in uh, 16th place overall in the rankings in the 200 meters. So coaches Alba career who looks out for a lot of the Kenyan para-athletes. Sheffrey Rotic is a guide. Sheng Jin from Chen Yang. Not really being trouble the top two. Kurtz are really more than anything else looking to record a fast time here if she can. She's uh, a five minute, could well break her lifetime best, and that could well help her into the final as the fastest loser. It's the top two going through, and they're definitely the top two in your picture who are turning for the final bend. Cheng Jin has done very well here. There's lots of support for the Brazilian Renato Bazzoni Teixeira in her bid to try and get her up and get her into the final as the fastest loser. It's the next two who advance. But it's the top two who are going through, and they can't get this wrong. Shen Jin allowed across the line by our guide. And then Koech in second place, and I think this probably is a lot more her distance than the 200 meters. Kurtzer with a lifetime best by around four seconds. She comes through in third place for South Africa. Bazzoni Tejera is in fourth place for Brazil, and the guide just let her through well. And the European champion back in fifth place. And she's been eliminated, Osner Alamor Yilmaza. 4 47 36. Very comfortable, and not much more to write home about there. Shen the winner, and Koech in second. Koech, by the way, with a lifetime best, uh, something like 13 seconds inside her own mark. And that's a Paralympic record for Sheng Jin as well. So it's Jing and Koech automatically going through. And that time for the opposition to Shearer 506.09 because uh, there's been a disqualification yeah. by the looks Coates, of it. Uh, Coates has been disqualified and it may have been the case of her guide helping her over the line. We'll uh, review that certainly. There are uh, two ways in the finish where you can be disqualified but there's Zheng making a move down the middle for what would be a a Paralympic record and Koech with a regional record as well. We just did see the cameraman pick that up, Kurtzi's um, right arm nudging in mm. to Koech. So if that was the moment, we've just seen it, who knows? The uh, jury sitting above us. We don't have communication to them, but we'll try and find a reason out for that. But yes, these two athletes looking comfortable. Yes, yeah, not much trouble in the end, really, for Zheng Jin or for Koech. A marvellous runs from both as well. It must be said, very, very uh, impressive 4.47.36 for Zheng Jing with that new Paralympic record. Not a world record, though. She holds that, 4.38.66, which is obviously the Asian record, too. But she's taken a good chunk off the Paralympic record. And in uh, second place with the new African record, Nancy Koech, 448.70. So they're the two who go through. Sheng the winner, Koech in second. Zona 